What's the word, y'all? See, I never come into these videos with the idea of making people upset, but it's gonna happen. Anytime you rank it, especially when you rank in young cores, it's gonna be a genre of people that's really upset. But I want people to realize I'm just a guy that watches basketball, these subjective opinions, and I don't know anything. So, so as long as you keep those things in mind, there's no way you can get upset. I am so guilty of this as well. When we talk about young players, our own young cores, we overrate them. You cannot tell me that Patrick Williams won't be an all-star for the Bulls one day. You know what I'm saying? He might never be, but in my mind, he's got that type of potential. So, just keep in mind that I don't know anything. This is just my subjective opinion, and it all is in good fun. We rank in young cores, but we can't do that until we talk about Enjoy Basketball Essentials Drop, ladies and gentlemen. When this video is live, so is the drop, and you better get in because, again, it is extremely limited. Y'all know I've been wearing this Enjoy hat in the last couple videos, and a lot of y'all see it and be like, oh, I want one of those. Well, you can get one of those now. We got these hoodies that, like, I like to wear in public and think, if you know, you know. If you're a part of the community, you might see that and be like, man, he's an enjoyer of basketball. But if you want everybody to know you're an enjoyer of basketball, we got t-shirts that said across the chest, enjoy. On the back, we got a smooth, smooth logo. We also got sweat shorts to match the sweat shirt because personally, I like wearing hoodies and I like wearing shorts with them. And we also got socks. We've been working on this drop for a very long time and it is extremely limited. So hit that link in the description, cop and tweet at me, man. Let me know if you cop, bro. Let me know you're an enjoyer of basketball. I saw a lot of people say, hey, Kenny, I missed drop one. I can't wait for drop two. Drop two is now. Tune in. All right. All right. All right. So my own classification for young cores, it's pretty loose. I'm being honest with you. Um, But there has to be some type of cutoff because like the Boston Celtics are a young core. But they're not a young core when it comes to their overall service time, if we put it in the NBA terms. Jason Tatum been in the league forever. Jalen Brown been in the league forever. But they're still super young. So how do I want to think about this? Forget it. We don't need no blueprint. If I think they're young, they are young. So Boston Celtics, S tier. S tier young core. Cool. All right, let's get that off. Get that done. All right, Milwaukee Bucks. So yeah, we got like Marjan. We got Mamu and we got uh, Jordan Wara. Those will be the young players. This is not a team that's built for young talent. This is a team that's trying to compete for a championship. I mean, they're trying to do it on the side where we're like, get these players better. And this is what all championship te quality teams try to do. Draft in the end of the first round or end of the second and just try to get some people and get them under the wing. And maybe in two years, you'll be a part of the rotation. And maybe some of those, maybe Jordan Wara was actually part of the rotation this year because he, he got a little bit of burn. I'm, I'm putting them in the D tier. It's nothing too exciting. Next, we got the Brooklyn Nets. And I'm looking at Dayron Sharp, Cam Johnson, David Duke Jr., Nicholas Claxton, and that's their young core. That's their young core. Um, and I, I think Cam Johnson is a, a Cam Thomas. That gives you a lot of buckets. Um, Nicholas Claxton is the starting center over there. He, he's probably not the starting center in a lot of different places across the NBA, but he's a starting center there. And he probably... Um, will be a solid quality starting center one day, but for the most part, it's probably a C tier uh, because I think that Cam Thomas can carry that. Low key, they're probably here, but I think Cam is going to be kind of nice. The Knicks are looking at Miles McBride, RJ Bear, Quentin Grimes, Cam Reddish, Quickly, Jericho. I mean, I'm counting Mitchell Robinson, Isaiah Hartenstein, Obi Toppin. Those are, that's nine players, 24 younger. I guess I didn't really realize how young the New York Knicks really are. Um, dang. D Rose is the big vet over there. Uh, Ryan Archie Diakono, big vet over there. Uh, they have a really good young core over there. I think I'm putting them in around the B tier. I think I'm thinking about it like this. In order to be S tier, you have to have multiple people that are already all stars, or multiple people that I think could become all stars. And, and though I just named a bunch of really really good young role players, I don't know how many of them will be all stars one day. I think RJ will probably get there, but like who else? Who else? I think, I think Quentin Grimes has the potential to have a big, big season. I watched this man in summer league. He was tearing it up. Now, it is summer league, so take it with a grain of salt. But he looked like a pro player amongst people that aren't pros. But out of that core, I could see one all-star and a bunch of players that will have long NBA careers. But also, there might be teams that we rank higher that only have one all-star. But that one all-star is like all-NBA type all-star. I think if RJ is going to make an all-star jump, it would be an all-star, but maybe not an all-NBA level. I don't know if he'll ever get there, which is fine. Knicks fans, I think it's fine if he never makes an All-NBA team, but I could be wrong. Toronto Raptors have Scotty Barnes, Preston Achuya, uh, Gary Trent Jr. Are we counting OG Ananobi, who's 25 years old at this point? 
Are we counting 25? But I did just do it for the Boston Celtics. I'm counting OG Ananobi. All right. So with that said, I think Scotty Barnes um, has the upside at, out of this world. He's like, he's carrying this young core. Precious, I, I mentioned him on one of the people that I, I'm buying stock in this season. I'm probably putting him in the A tier because I think Scotty has all NBA potential. I think that's all NBA potential. Now he's got, he's got to make that potential reality one day, but I think he actually is like that. Also, Gary Trent Jr. is one of the best shooters in basketball. Who He gets hella deflections. He's really that nice. Utah Jazz are interested team right now because, well, Donovan Mitchell's 20. Okay, he's 25. Does he age out? I'm still counting him because I counted Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. I'm counting them. So they got him. They got Malik Beasley, Jared Vanderbilt, Nikhil Alexander Walker. They got uh, Jared Butler, Walker Kessler, Johnny Juzang. I I'm putting them B tier because I don't know if Donovan Mitchell's going to be there in two months. Uh, so we'll just leave it at that and say, ooh, is a part of a young core future assets. Nah, that's too much. That's too much. It's, that'll be too much. We're not talking about the 17 million draft picks they got for Rudy Gobert. That has nothing to do with it, even though that's part of the core. No, 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 no. That's just too much work. Too much work. Houston Rockets, Jabari Smith, Josh Christopher, Usman Garaba, who I really liked when he was getting drafted, Jalen Green, Alperin Singun, Ty Ty Washington, Tari Issa, Kevin Porter Jr., Kenyon Martin Jr., um... That's all we add. Jay Sean Tate is a young NBA career, so maybe we add him too. That's undoubtedly an A and or S tier. I don't know where to put him just yet. I'm putting him in A for now because even though I think a couple of those people might have all star in their future, we still have to see them materialize. I think that Jalen Green's an absolute stud. The last couple months of the season, he was great. I think the stat is the last 18 games, he averaged 22 points per game on 41% shooting uh, from three, from three, 41% shooting from three. Jabari Smith Jr., I don't really know what to expect from him just yet. Again, I only watch a couple summer league games. But I, I, I keep saying, Tari East is my favorite player out of this draft class. Alperson Goom is one of my favorite players out of that draft class. And same thing with Usman Garaba. So, like, they have a lot. They have drafted a ton of people that I really, really like. But they also still have to materialize. And they're super, super young. I like their core. I'm going to put them in A tier when, for now. But they have the potential to potentially go up. Pelicans, Dyson Daniels, Kira Lewis Jr., EJ Liddell. Sucks he tore his ACL that early in his career. Jackson Hayes, Trey Murphy, Zion, Herb Jones, Jose Alvarado, Brandon Ingram, S tier. I don't need to explain anymore. S tier, S tier, S tier. Zion already has all NBA potential. He was almost that already. He averaged 28 points per game. Brandon Ingram has been an all-star already in his career. They got everything I would want in a young core, S tier. Now, I like that the Lakers got younger this offseason, but they don't really have much of a young core. It's like THT, Max Christie. Scottie Pippen Jr. and then Austin Reeves. That that doesn't that, nothing about that wows me. They're going to the D tier. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm trying not to be biased, and call me out if I am. Call me out if I am. But looking at what I'm looking at right now, the landscape that we've already built, the Bulls should be around B tier. Let me explain. Dalen Terry just dropped 50 in a pro in game. It seems like everybody can do that. <laughs> if you're if you're NBA town, NBA town. Patrick Williams, you cannot convince me, bro, and it's stuck. Ayo Dasumu. Elite rookie season, all rookie caliber player. Kobe White is still there. Lonzo Ball is only 24. That's that's our young core. It's better than Brooklyn, so I'm putting them in the B tier. Fight me, call me, call me a biased Bulls fan. I gotta at least put them in B. It's my video. I do what I want. Uh, Minnesota Timberwolves young core. They have uh, Josh Bino, uh Wendell Moore. They got Anthony Edwards. Ooh, forgot that. Forgot about that. Jaden McDaniels and Nas Reed. I'm counting. And yeah, that's it. I got to at least get them to the A tier because of Anthony Edwards. He's that nice by himself. Even if Jaden McDaniels doesn't blossom the way they expect, even if Nas Reed never becomes a good player or, more, or better than what he is right now, Anthony Edwards in himself gives them in the A tier. Portland, who are we talking about right here? Who are we talking about right here? Okay, so we got Shaden Sharp, who ain't played basketball in seven years. Keon Johnson, Greg Brown, okay. Trent Wofford, Nazir Little, uh, Anthony Simons. Anthony Simons is a good one. Anthony Simons in himself probably puts them into the B tier. Denver, Bones Highland, Zeke Naji. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. That, that, that's that's it. Uh, Bones Highland's gonna be pretty solid. I'll put them in the C tier. All right, do I need to name OKC Thunder? Everybody on their roster, okay? Cool. Um, that's an S tier. Don't need to explain. Chet Holmberg, Shea Gibbs, Alexander, Josh Giddy. Even if that's it, that's really, really good. But they also have like Trey Mann. They have Jalen Williams, the one that was in the first round. They have a lot of really good young players over there. Don't need to explain it. You understand. Young Chorus, they're one of the best. Memphis, Jake LaRavia. Kennedy Chandler, Zaire Williams, Santi Aldama, David Roddy, Jaron Ja, 
Yeah, 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 Desmond Bain still counts. It's S, it's S tier. You know that. Oh, now we get to some weird territory because we got the Dallas Mavericks, who don't really have a young core, really. I mean, they're one of the oldest teams in basketball, if you didn't know. It's Josh Green and it's Luca. So you heard that second name? S tier. Some people have the type of gravity, man. Legitimately, some some people have the type of gravity, and Luca's one of those dudes. He's been an All NBA player three out of the four years of his career. He's been an All Star three out of the four years of his career. And the one year he didn't make that, he was the Rookie of the Year. Like, what more can you ask from, bro? He's super young still. It's crazy. Spurs is an interesting one, man. So they got Josh Primo, Jeremy Sohan, Sochan. I still don't know how to pronounce his name yet because he didn't play in Summer League, at least the games that I went to. Um, Blake Wesley. They got Devin Vassell. Kelton Johnson still counts. Okay, the more I'm going down, it's okay. I'm, I'm liking some of the stuff. Some of the stuff. I'll, I'll probably put it more of on the C tier, though. I moved the Bulls down. I do think the Bulls have one thing that some of these other teams don't, and that's the Lonzo Ball guy, who was, like, the, the best player in the world last season. Oh, the Suns don't have anything. But then they do, because Mikael Bridges and Devin Booker got to be counting his young core. If I count, if that's the case, then S. We kind of just going with the flow, as you can as you can see. Uh, I'm just looking up rosters and looking at the young players and see how I rank them. Brandon Boston, Jason Preston. Yeah, this is a team I built for young players. I, I like Brandon Boston and Jason Presser. Shout out to him. Um, but I, come on, compared to some of the others, you understand. Golden State Warriors have some of the biggest question marks when it comes to their young core. Um, Patrick Baldwin Jr., I'm pretty sure he hurt himself before uh, preseason or whatever it is, uh, Summer League. Jonathan Kaminga gave us flashes. Moses Moody gave us flashes where he was actually really solid in that uh, Dallas series. James Wiseman, we don't know anything about really. Jordan Poole is there. I'm probably putting them on the B tier. They got some guys that could potentially make it better, but I, it's, it's just so many question marks. And Detroit basketball. Jalen Duran, Kay Cunningham, Jaden Ivey. I'm still counting Kenley, Killian Hayes, Isaiah Stewart, Bag, Sadiq Bey, uh, Hami Diallo. Okay, and Isaiah Livers. I'm counting you too, bro, because I still got some hope for you. Um... For me, that's like an A tier. Kay Cunningham is really nice. He's going to be an multiple-time All-Star. Jaden Ivey, I think it might take Jaden Ivey a little bit more time. But who knows? He might come out guns blazing. I'm putting him in the A tier. Sacramento Kings, Keegan Murray, stud. Kevin Herter, pretty nice in spurts. Um, off night, got that. Okay. De'Aaron Fox still, still counts. Chemezi Metu and Malik Monk. That sounds like a, a, a B tier to me. De'Aaron Fox, stud. Davion Mitchell defends. I, I like it. Cavaliers is S tier. I mean, it's, it's too much. They already got Darius Garland, Jared Allen, who are all-stars. Evan Mobley is going to be an all-star very, very soon. That's all I really need to say. I didn't even have to look at their roster. I, enough. Enough of that. You know that they're S tier. 76ers are not built through youth, but they do have Tyrese Maxey, and I'm, I'm counting Anthony Melton on top of that. It's pretty much it. B-Ball Paul is kind of nice in spurts. Tyrese Maxey is really, really good, but is Tyrese Maxey enough to carry them to the tier of these people? Probably not. I think by himself, he's a C tier, which is really good because I think he's going to be an all star one day. Um, but it is j basically just him at this moment. Or like these other teams who have De'Aaron Fox, who's an all star caliber player, plus Keegan, plus Hever Herder, plus this and that. The Warriors have Poole, plus this, plus that. The Jazz have Donovan Mitchell, who's like already an all star. And then the Knicks have eight players in the young core. When, when Philly only pretty much have one guarantee, like really good stud. Um, so I'm putting them on the same tier of th these guys. Even though they'd probably be like a B minus. But it, th this is the only thing we got right now. Charlotte Hornets have LaMelo and Mark Williams. Uh, James Booknight, who we really don't see too much. Yeah, that's good. LaMelo's that guy. Mark Williams, I don't know anything about to even to project... But LaMelo's already an all-star. Putting them in the B tier because LaMelo is him. Washington Wizards have Denny Abdia, okay, Johnny Davis, uh, Daniel Gaffer, Corey Kisper, Rui Hachimura. I'm, out, I'm counting all of those guys. I'll put them in the, in the C tier. They have more than these three teams, but maybe not as much as these teams up here. So they're like a C minus probably. Orlando, Paolo, Franz, R RJ Hampton, Jalen Suggs, Cole Anthony, uh, Wendell Carter, Chumo Kiki, Mo Bamba, Markel, John Isaac. That's an A-tier team to me. Miami has Nikola Jovis, Tyler Hero, Omar, your seven, and Bam. Yeah, it's got to be an A-tier, bro. Bam's already there. Tyler Hero gives you 20 a night. Um, and th th that two is probably better than a lot of the two that you're getting from the B-tier. So I think they, they got to be A-tier. Atlanta Hawks have Jalen Johnson, Sharif Cooper. Do we count? I think Sharif Cooper actually got cut. So Jalen Johnson, Yekka Kongu, Trey Young. Oh, okay. 
Cool. And then lastly, the Indiana Pacers, who have Ijax, Benedict Matherin, Tyrese, J and Jalen Smith, Goga Badazi, if you want to count that. And I guess, I, I guess Chris Dorte, even though he's like two months younger than Miles Turner. That I like, I like that a lot. Hmm, probably B tier. All right, most of this was all vibes. No real thought goes into it. That's my list. Uh, well, that was fun. And as long as you look at it like that, it probably was fun for you too. Leave a like, hit that link in the description, man. Go ahead, cop up. Uh, because these things will be going off the shelves, these fake shelves that we built. Uh, so I appreciate y'all that's been supporting it for all this time. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Peace.